and then I'm gonna just hip, hip down like this. This is Shayna, the Queen of Spades Baszler. I'm here with Jessica Duke. And we're gonna show you something that you might be familiar with. So today we're gonna talk about the high angle front choke, high angle guillotine. I call it the Marcelo team because it was made famous by one of the best submission grapplers of all time, Marcelo Garcia. So talking about this choke, the thing that happens is that a lot of people make this mistake and try to arch back to finish this off. It might work sometimes, not the best way to do it, right? Because you'll notice this does not compress the hole where the neck is at all. So what I want to do actually is a side crunch to the side the head is on. You'll see that makes that hole smaller, okay? So when I do this front choke to her, instead of arching back, I'm going to side crunch and that makes her tap. So in order to stop this, she's, one of the first things she's going to do is throw her arm over my shoulder. So I can't get this angle on her. It moves her body with me. Also, it might prevent me from moving at all. So I'm going to anticipate this, and in order to stop this, throw my elbow over her shoulder so she can now not get that arm. By the time she figures something else out, she has to tap. So I want to talk about the different variations of a front choke, a few of them. One thing I want to say is that you'll see a lot of like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu stylist grapplers jump guard like this, hold me up, <laughs> to finish this. And what happens is it eventually ends up with her putting me on the ground. And this is not somewhere I want to be if this happens to not work. Okay, especially if I work so hard to stay up anyway. These are all from standing. So one of the first ways that I want to talk about is that I talked about earlier, I don't want my hips to go like this. Because now all she has to do is tap my knee and I fall over. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm keeping my legs back, which makes her bear my weight. And then just like before, where I'm doing a crunch, I want to rotate my body around like this. <coughs> now, you'll notice she was being nice to me for the sake of the demonstration, but you'll notice all that happens is she follows me. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to finish her, it's going to make me tired. It's not fun so, though. one of the variations is I want to stop her from doing that by bracing against her shoulder. So I'm going to put this hand here, this hand's going to come up here, and I'm going to spin. Ooh, that's really tight. Another thing that might happen is she's going to be holding on to my forearm. It's hard for me to finish this if she's counter-pressuring my arm, squeezing. So I can, I can prevent that by shoving your head deep into my armpit and getting my arm around just like a rear naked choke. And I can figure four, and I'm still gonna squeeze just like before, uh, touching my elbows together. So I'm gonna grab this, shove her head, squeeze. Sometimes you'll notice, even with her, and she's, she's a bit slender, even with her, it's hard for me to get deep into my bicep, right? So what I can do is to give that same kind of thing. I get her arm deep, and this is called a prayer choke. I think actually Bruce Hoyer from Next Edge Academy taught me that. But I'm just going to pray, push my hand this way. So that just squeezes that here. One of the only reasons I'll go to the ground is to reverse. So I grew up in the Midwest. Wrestling is one of the most popular sports there. I had to wrestle boys, and a lot of times they're stronger and faster than me. So I had to learn to deal with the pressure of going. So a lot of times, when they shoot in, I'm not able to scroll fast enough. So I'll do almost, it's, it's a pancake, but it's almost um, 
the, the grips vary depending on how you can catch them, but I'm, I'm going to basically let my momentum get stuck underneath them and use that, use that momentum against them. So as she drives, and I can finish it here. And one last one I want to talk about is if they shoot in and I sprawl and we both end up on our knees. Now, obviously I'm not going to be able to do a lot of the same stuff because I need to stay over top of her. So I'm going to do what's called a 10 finger choke. So I'm going to interlock my hands like this, put it straight on her chin like this, and I'm going to put the back of her head right on my belly button, and that's where I'm going to want to kind of hip to the floor. Because you're cutting this into your throat. I'm basically I'm making her do this. Oh, yeah. And getting her with the blade of my hands. So she shoots in, I sprawl, boom, we're here. I can't get the right angle. I don't want to go to my back. I'm going to just grab her chin. And then I'm going to just hip, hip down like this. <laughs> 